Hi, and welcome to the Margaret E. Hagen Public Library. I'm Miss Jen, and today for another Book Bites, we're going to be taking a huge bite out of special series in nonfiction, the what was, who were, what is, and the who is, who was series. We're going to today focus on for Black History Month, Black History. We're going to start with what was the Underground Railroad. This series, as in this book, tells you wonderful things about different events, like what was the Underground Railroad, or we have what were the Negro Leagues, what is the Civil Rights Movement, and who were the Tuskegee Airmen. Really cool, cool things to learn about. Let's start with what was the Underground Railroad. On March day in 1849, two men tossed a big wooden box onto a steamboat that was about to head up the Potomac River to Washington, D.C. Nobody cared how the box landed. The men thought it was just filled with something ordinary, but they were wrong. Inside the box was a real, live man. His name was Henry Brown. He was a slave escaping from Virginia. He was hoping to reach Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Slavery was illegal in Pennsylvania. He would be free there as long as slave catchers didn't find him and bring him back to the South. The box with Henry in it landed upside down. Now he was on his head. He was scared and oh, how his head hurt. Would he ever get to Philadelphia? He didn't know. Although he was on a steamship, Henry was traveling on something called the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad was not an actual railroad with metal tracks and passenger cars, and it did not run underground. No one knows for sure where the name came from. It meant the escape route African American slaves took to reach freedom. One story says that in 1831, a slave named Tice Davies fled from Kentucky to Ohio. Kentucky was a slave state. Ohio was a free state. When David's master found out, he was shocked. It was as if Tice Davids had vanished into thin air. The master joked that his slave must have gone off on an underground railroad. Is this story true? No one knows for sure, but the term underground railroad stuck. Escaped slaves fled to the free states and Canada any way they could. They often went on foot, traveling hundreds and hundreds of miles. They went hidden in wagons. They went by train and by boat. They often were at night to avoid capture. Whites and other blacks along the way helped them. These people were called conductors. The journey was scary and filled with danger. If caught, the slaves would be sent back and severely punished. But the danger did not stop them. Freedom was worth the risk. This is the story of some of these people, who they were, where they went, what happened to them along the way, and how their lives changed. Wow, that is a great introduction to the Underground Railroad. Now, we are going to meet one of their conductors, Harriet Tubman, in Who Was Harriet Tubman. We have other books in the Who Was, like Who Was... Frederick Douglass, who was Booker T. Washington, who was Ida B. Wells, who was Rosa Parks, and who was Coretta Scott King. These are great books about some great African Americans. But now, let's read about who was Harriet Tubman. No one knows the exact year in which Harriet Tubman was born. It may have been 1820 or 1821. Almost everyone thought the birth of a slave baby wasn't worth mentioning or remembering. Born a slave, Harriet Tubman grew into a brave and daring young woman. She was brave enough to escape from slavery. She was daring enough to help others escape too. Because she led so many to freedom, she was called Moses. 
Like Moses in the Bible, Harriet Tubman believed that her people should be free. And she risked her life many times to help them become free. Even after she had escaped safely from the South, she went back to take other slaves north to freedom. Here is her story. Wow. I'd love to continue that. But you can continue that yourself in some wonderful series, Who Was Harry Tubman and What Was the Underground Railroad? This is it for another Book Bites. I'm Miss Jennifer, and I'll see you at the Margaret Hagen Public Library.